Now, what are we going to make today? Okay, so we're going to make a cheesy, smoky butternut squash pasta. Now, most kids love mac and cheese, sure. right? So this is a healthy alternative. So you get rid of the dairy, the hormonally active, saturated fat rich dairy, and we're going to make it. It's the other benefit is that we're getting more vegetables in. We want to get more vegetables in with the kids, right? For sure. Okay, so this is basically we've had this pasta cooking already. So what I like to do is I like to throw in some vegetables into my pasta. This is some beautiful broccoli, lots Yum. of chlorophyll and wonderful phytonutrients, and I put that in for a few minutes afterwards when it's ready to cook because then it's just going to wilt down a little bit. Right. So while this is cooking over here, we're going to come over here and make our cheese sauce. Okay. All right, so do you like butternut squash? Yeah, oh, yeah. Filled with carotenoids and wonderful nutritional value. I don't know that part. I like butternut squash, so. <laughs> okay, so you're going to help me? I heard you like to cook. I love to cook. Okay. I'm always looking to learn new things. Yay. Okay, so we've already roasted this butternut squash, which Yum. is delicious. So what I'm going to have you do is just scoop this into the blender. Okay. It's really easy and friendly to make this recipe because it's just throw everything. I'm a real lazy cook. Like, I'm a busy well, working thing. mom. I just want it easy. A lot of people, you know, they, yep. they talk about healthful food and, oh, it takes too long and... But but you're saying that, that, that this isn't too bad. No, I want to keep it easy. It has to be easy, otherwise okay. we're not going to do it. All right, so we're going to put that in. We're going to put about, it's about half a cup of cashews. Okay. And you can soak your cashews. You don't have to. Are those salted or, or raw? Just raw. I like them raw, plain okay. raw. And then this, have you heard of Nutch Nutritional Yeast? Yes, I have. You have? I actually love this. Have y'all tried this nutritional yeast before? I put it on salads. It tastes kind of like Parmesan. Yes. Yeah, I love but it. But it's healthy. It's got all these B vitamins and it's none good. of the dairy. So I put about half a cup. Kind of tangy. You know what I mean? It is. You know, you could put this on popcorn. You could put this on all sorts of different yeah, things. Yeah, that stuff's good. Okay, so here's some lemon juice. You could just pour a little bit of lemon okay. juice. Okay. And if you want to get fancy, I like that extra zest of the lemon. So how much? Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. I just I like to throw everything in. I don't sure. really like to measure. I'm like the cook that doesn't like to measure. This is tamari. You could use soy sauce, anything like that, just to get a little bit of salt. Okay. And then... Okay, so this is kind of the secret ingredient. This is chipotle. So do you like spicy? I do. How spicy do you like it? Well, I like really spicy. I, I've said I like spicy before, <laughs> and then people blow my head off with stuff. So <laughs> let's start slowly. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So we'll just do about, I don't know, we'll do half a teeth, maybe a little bit more. So that's, that's going to be hot. It's going to be a little spicy. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is a plant milk. Again, I'm trying to get rid of dairy. So this is an almond milk, and so it's unsweetened, and you could just pour that in there to make it go. I like almond milk. To blend. Yeah, me too. I like soy milk too. Y'all milk, like almond milk? milk? It's good. It really is good. There's so many different types of milks now. It's really incredible. We can get the wall of plant milks now mm -hmm. if you go to any market. All right, so now we're just going to blend. Hey. Just like that. Okay, and because we don't have our little yeah, thing, sure, we're just sure. going to whip this out. We've got okay. one all ready to go. Oh, there it is. Voila. Okay. Yum, that looks good. Yeah, this is how it should look yeah, at the end. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> Faux cheese. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're just going to, we can stir this a little bit just to get the broccoli under the water. Okay. What kind of pasta is that? This is a rigatoni, but you could use any. You know, I use at home, I use a gluten-free pasta. Okay. Um, but you don't have to. Any kind of pasta will do. So, but see how it blanches? It gets just a little bit of bright green. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's the perfect shade that you Love want that. it. Love that. So we pour that in the bowl. We're going to pour this in the bowl. We're going to pour the sauce and over it. And while you're it. talking, I can't wait anymore. I have to try All this. right. All this right. This is really good. Ooh, that's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. No, that's really good. And you know, you don't have to feel bad about this. I mean, this is, that's all good stuff. I watch you do it. Yep, nutritious, delicious. That's and very, very full good. Of, yeah. Now, I see some dessert right here. What's yes. going on with this? That's, that's really what I'm interested in. Yeah, I mean, kids love dessert, right? My kids love dessert, that's for sure. But I like to do sugar-free, oil-free, really whole food, plant-based. Here's another way to get more vegetables in. This is a chocolate chip pumpkin muffin. Really? Note the pumpkin. So you're getting all sorts of wonderful nutrition Man, in there, that too. Looks, that's super moist and with stuff. With the chocolate. That's good. You like it? Yeah, I love that. Oh, good. That's really good. I would eat that to get to that. Yeah. Like, if you said you can't have that unless you eat that, I'd eat that whole bowl to get to one of those. That's I like good. the way you think. You got to talk to my kids. Absolutely. <laughs> Juliana, you're the greatest. Thank, Thank you for being here. Greatest. For these recipes, go to harrytv.com. The Idiot's Guide to Plant-Based Nutrition is available everywhere now. We'll be right back.